Hello everyone, this is me and Mool. Welcome to my channel. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a multi-step uh, form, multi-step submit form using Angular JS. Okay, so to start from this, I have taken a template. This template from what you say from Bootstrap here. Yeah, from here and after that uh, I'll, I'll make a form from here and uh, I have uh, added angular libraries here you can see so my next step would be first to create the form here yeah, this is what you see to make the form I'm simply going to copy this Okay, and paste it over here. You can see, and here you get this form. I'll remove some of the things from here. I'll remove this. Okay, and 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 and. and. Okay good enough I have removed this thing the next step is next step would be yeah just create next three tag to show that we are on step one step one okay and I'll pack it into the here class step one step one here and, and, and this here so this is my step one I'll not be needing this I'm going to delete this one. Okay. So what have you got here? Step one. So you can delete it wrong. I need a submit one. Yeah, we need this. Name it button. This will go to our step two. Okay, and uh, quickly I'm going to primary. Okay, so this is step one and step two. Sorry, text one and text two. I'm quickly going to make another step here and I'll name this class step 2 here and uh, I'll make the name first name make a text first name here last name this will go to the step 3 and then we simply copy this and we will make step 3 let's make it step 2 here and make it step 3 here I'll name it address I'll make it here phone okay address and phone I'll name it address name it phone and in the last step we'll make it 
submit okay so these are the three steps we have created step one this step this will take to the step two here this and the last one this so the next challenge is to show in first step from here to here and then from here to here and then from here to here to do so I am going to make an app here I'll declare it my app okay and I am going to make a new file here namely app.js Okay, and I'm going to write Angular module here, namely my app. And I'll write it in the animate here. I'll use it on the later, not in this video, but uh, I'm, I like to include this. And the next would be I'll make a controller here in my app I'll make a controller here controller name of the controller would be form controller here I'm doing this because I like to keep these things separate so I'll write a function here namely form controller okay So my next step would be I don't pass scope here. I simply use this to use the scope. And I'm going to make a variable name dot step and I'm going to pass it value one. By default I want the step one to continue. Okay, so Here I am going to make an ng controller name form controller as vm form. I use vm. Remember I don't use scope here. It's my kind of style to code but I like this one. You can use the scope here. So my next step would be and I'm going to add a div here to wrap everything. And in this, I am going to write ng switch statement. ng switch expression would be vm form dot step means the value of this one one. Okay. So my next step would be to make switches ng switch when the value is 1 ok ok 
will write and this would be mg I can switch when the value would be 3 okay. the problem is I haven't added that script <laughs> okay so I'm going to add the script here step one why it's step one showing only because I have added this value on the step variable and I have told the ng switch to check the current value of step and the current value is one and I have told him when the value is one shoot this portion from here to here when the value is two shoot this portion from here to here when the value is three from here to here so on my next step would be I just need to change this value and everything will be shown automatically so I will make a function here on click where is this step 2 on its click here I will make ng click here and I will pass a function here vm form remember vm form is my scope here vm form dot 2 let's make it step 2 function name step 2 ok so I will make a variable here step 2 and I will pass a function here step 2 and in down I'll create that function. Function step two, and its function would be to change the value of vm dot step to two. Let's see what happens here now. You can see now it's step two. And now we have to make this step 3 here. Same thing I'm going to use ng click here instead of step 2. I'll make a new function step 3. And same thing, I'll make a variable name step 3 and pass that variable this and I'll copy a function I'll make this function and I'll make the value 3 so when you click on step 2 you will go to step 2 when you click on step 3 sorry I'm getting some error here step Vm dot step three here. Just hold on. Click on this. Click step three. the value I have added in. Switch values 3. 3 here. Step 3 here. Should have been working fine right now. Step two is showing this fine. 
Yeah, I think there was some caching problem there. So you can see step one, step two, step three, and the thing is, we just need to change the value of this variable which we have given here on run. Okay. So this is how you make multi-step form. If you have any problem, just let me know in the comments. Have a nice day. Thank you.